ignorant all over your Sorry, but I cannot keep my clothes on. Where's the garbage? Right there. Oh, shit. I'm ready to get in your limousine. Oh, with the backstage pass and some Visine. <laughs> That'll make you get diarrhea if you miss your eye. I'm not going to eat All right, it. Well, like, I'm just I've saying Visine. Us. I'm not going to. Welcome to Queens of Reality TV, everybody. Y'all know where you are. It's, you know why you're you here. You do. It's Andy. And Iana. And we're talking season two, episode eight of Rock of Love, Video Vixens. Did you get the same name? I got the same name. Awesome. There's six girls left. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it, dude. All the girls are feeling weird. Of course. Going into this episode, but especially KJL, Christy <sighs> Joe Letourneau. And you know what? I'm starting to I'm starting to notice a trend. Yes. Tell me what that every time I start an episode, if you go back and you look, it's like this episode starts out with Ina feeling weird. Ina goes home. This episode starts out with Peyton worrying. Peyton goes home like every episode. I think you might call that editing. It's bad. Yeah, it's a bad. It's a little on the nose. Roxy starts out worrying. Roxy goes home like no shit. Like it's a little bit t- now at this point. I know who's going home just by who kicks off the episode feeling bad. Maybe, maybe not. He has a very weird relationship with KJL. We'll see. We'll see. So she basically she's feeling bad and she's like, you know what? I got to make a phone call. This is so fucking bananas and Are you everybody ready? is right. Are you fucking ready? I Bro. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe it, dude. I cannot believe this. She calls her husband and you can hear in his voice he's like hey I haven't heard from you in two weeks, two weeks. What's, what's going on what's going on and she's like listen um I'm at Brett Michael's house yeah and I think that it's time to get divorced I'm starting to develop very serious feelings for him and, and he's like this whoa, is whoa, whoa 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 what clearly this is the first he's heard of this dude according to her this was understood when she came on the show she said I am getting divorced. I'm in the I'm middle. in the process of an annulment, essentially, because they had been married for such a short amount of time. It was easy breezy. Yes. She was in the middle of a divorce, in yes. the middle of an annulment. It was in the, she said straight up, I got to get home in the middle of this divorce. I got to wrap so it up. I got to wrap it up. Da, da, da. She's been talking about this shit since episode till. Absolutely. And now her husband is like, like, I'm sorry. He's what? like sobbing. He's like, what do you mean? breaking up like he is like and I'm exaggerating about that but you know what I mean he's like what the fuck he is very confused he is not okay no no and she's not okay either and even when she's saying it she seems really fucked up about it like this is a big deal I probably shouldn't be giving him this news over the phone it's like oh god she she does it over the phone because she has to for her conscience and now it starts to make sense that she's been acting yeah. So weird. Because all of she this knows time. this is and all going to be on TV. And she's super panicked because she knows timing Look, wise she hasn't said shit to her husband. This was the worst move. Yeah. You know when you say shit to your husband? When you win this show. Yep. And you say, listen, babe. And you have to go home for three months before you get to go to the reunion episode Absolutely. where then you can be together. That's when you go home and say, we need a divorce. If you really think. No, you say it before you fucking go on TV. Or, the, I mean, well. Like yeah. I'm just saying, like you're no, in it now, right? You're it's in a, too late. You're in episode eight. Now's not the time. Now's you not have the time. to win this show mm-hmm. or go home with your tail between your legs. Right. You don't call and ask for a divorce today. Now and then. So what she does is she's very proud of herself. This she's is what so is also proud. She has to tell somebody. She wants to tell Brett immediately. First of all, yeah, she wants to go tell Brett immediately. Additionally, she can't even hold it in until then. No, she wants to tell Brett, but Brett is out driving a car fast. Because that, he's letting his weave blow in the wind because <laughs> that's how he decompresses from yeah. being a dickhead to 20 girls who he doesn't deserve. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so she drops the bomb proudly to uh, Amber. She and Amber is still like, bitch, my knees are still smushy. No, Amber's like, um, what? She, She's Amber, like, are you just saying now? That you just told your husband now. Today, right today, now, on the phone. That you needed a divorce. Because she even said, I, we were all under we the impression. We were all, including Brett, under the impression. And then she says, no wonder Brett doesn't trust you. Exactly. And I was like, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. I sort of was like on the fence about Chrissy Joe up until this and was like, holy shit, this is so fucked up. So she still doesn't get it, though. Like, no, she still is like, no, I did a good thing. 
yeah. I did a good thing. Everybody should be praising me. I, I've made a clear statement of intent. Like, why is everybody freaked out? She's so confused as to why. Why She and can't you know even what? understand. I can't believe that Amber holds it in. Yeah. But she does. Like, she none does. of the other girls find out about it. Like, no. Like, I would have immediately been like, Destiny. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, she does it. I think she's flabbergasted. I think she's like, oh, this is going to come out. I don't need to yeah. be the one. Well, she was the instigator Christy in the jo, previous episode. She even says to Christy Joe, like, you're going to tell Brett this? Like, meaning almost like in a way that's like, are you an idiot? And Christy Joe's like, yep. I have Brett. to. I'm telling Brett as soon as I can. She's yeah. like, all right, well, as long as you're definitely telling Brett. She's like, no, 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 I'm going to tell Brett, like, as soon as he's back. And she's like, great, please do great, that. Great, please do. But that doesn't happen like that, does it? No, because Brett's not home. Exactly. So it's challenge time. Oh, boy. We've got two music videos, two <sighs> songs, two teams. Oh, my glob. So there's one that's called Go That Far, which is the intro song. Hey, show me. But you don't know that at first. You can't tell until they get mid way through it and you're exactly. like oh but he even says you guys know this song and i was like brett they don't they don't they don't know but we it do. but we do because it's the intro the other one i don't know it's fallen. fallen it's a ballad and brett like goes a little hard about what a beautiful ballad it is and how moved he is uh, by his own by artwork his own self oh my okay. god <laughs> so the go that far team is jessica destiny daisy and the fallen team is ambre megan and kj and they each have a creative director right what that means is they are the ones who call in the shots and if they if their team wins they get to go on a solo date correct uh go that far as cd is just i'm sorry destiny 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 chest <laughs> and the fallen one is amber they make her get down on her bloody knees and she begs for it and amber is like i need this solo date yeah. i will literally do anything and so, she wanted fallen she did she must be familiar with this music she, i think I she's a genuine credit. fan i, I think she's a genuine fan so when they get that she's like look i got it i know i i have it mapped out in my head i know the song i know exactly what i want to do for this and basically their plot is Christy Joe, heartbroken. Sad, heartbroken. Perfect. Megan trying to get her up and out. It's not working. And she's not in the video at all, which I, I have to give say, her credit for. Yeah, she really took a risk by not putting herself in the video and really just focusing on being creative director. Also, we meet uh, Brett's homie. I don't oh, yeah. even think I wrote down his name. Brett assures us he's famous. And um, he's, he's like a famous music Video director. Video director, but he just wants to touch the girls. Absolutely. And Brett says explicitly when they split into teams, he's like, you have equal access to him. Everybody has a total yeah. of three hours to do this music video from shooting, writing, shooting to editing. Three hours. That's bananas. That's not a lot, but I feel like we could have done it. Yeah. 30 Considering seconds Considering we yes. do. Yeah, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> we wouldn't know. Oh, are we, we doing a music video next week? Yeah. Okay. We'll see what happens. No promises. Just stand by. Yeah. Um, but point being, it's a lot to do, but he specifically says you have access to this pro equally. That's yes. not what happens at all. No. He hangs out with Jessica, Destiny, and Daisy the entire time. Because they are in very standard stripper wear. Their theme is not clear. It's not clear, but they're all sexy. It's clear that they were like, Brett loves sex. Right. Brett is going to love this. And they're not wrong. They're not wrong. And the other thing that's notable about that team is Destiny's supposed to be the creative director. She's not directing shit. Dude, Daisy is doing everything. At one point, like, the, like Jess is like, so what am I supposed to do? And Daisy was like, let fucking, let Destiny answer. Because Jess was asking Daisy because Daisy yeah. was doing everything. Daisy was like, let fucking Destiny answer because she's got to do something. Yes. She has to do something. Yeah, but Daisy was very happy to be in charge. I agree. Yeah, I think she was it's like, not even. Do you know what we could do? You know, it'd be amazing. <laughs> uh -uh. Like, what if we like, I'm thinking like, then we're at like the strip club. <laughs> why are you so good why did she do Destiny. that with her mouth no that's daisy i'm babe. sorry i keep getting their names confused it's double deuce. daisy yes 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 i you're so good at daisy i don't know how that where that come from <laughs> it's just her voice is so ridiculous I they're all so ridiculous to do her season oh her I, show i'm gonna get really good for I it i cannot fucking i'm gonna wait. start practicing now i'm gonna start practicing my man voice then okay so good. i can just be the dudes be when they're all dumb. the dudes yeah, yeah 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 okay perfect i'll just get 16 man voices down I'm easy i've been waiting my whole life to hear you <laughs> say those words but so basically the deal is on the go that far team 
Destiny is supposed to be doing more than she is, but she's really getting overshadowed. Daisy is leading and Jessica is like the main feature right. in the video. And then on the other team, Amber is really in charge. She hasn't put herself in it, but they're also not getting the assistance of the pro. It's true. And yeah. at one point she even says like, we're doing so good. I don't care. Like yeah. we really don't need him. I'm just going to go for it because he is following them around. No shit. Like, they're drinking. They're drinking. They're just having they're cocktails. Partying. Yeah. And like, there's a part where like Daisy has the camera and she's following the girls and he has his hands on her waist. On her waist, which yeah. is so fucking disgusting. And oh, he looks like that guy too. You know, and she's wearing an outfit where like the sides are cut out and it's very small. And like he's just taking advantage. Ugh. Yeah, he's putting his hands all over the merchandise. Absolutely. He it made is, me really upset. Oh, it's definitely gross. Because what are you going to say? Yeah. Like they're, they're, ugh. yeah, everything about this. Everything it about this. It could go this. south quick. Like you could be like, dude, don't touch me like that. Then he goes to Brett and says they were difficult to work with. Absolutely. And it's just like one of those things that like, this is being a female in the industry. I feel like at this time nobody would have said no. you touched me inappropriately. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. It's just it wasn't you cart for do the that. course. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. deal with it. Super fucked up. So now we're in the editing portion, right? And uh, again, our team Fallen is they're struggling a little bit. I think they had a because they had a story. It was very important to keep it in time yes. and keep like they really needed to be present for that editing. The go that far team. It's more just like cutting this sexy video with this sexy video. Well, Dave. Daisy really wants to put, bre- they realize they can put video of bread in there. Right. From his shows and stuff. So Daisy's like, oh my God, fuck. Like, what do we put bread here? What do we put bread there? And D- and she's not letting Destiny talk at all. Like, but Destiny isn't really fighting for herself either. Like, in the confessional, she's like, I'm so annoyed with Daisy. She's not letting me talk. But it's like, they show Destiny sitting there sipping a fucking cocktail. And we've seen Destiny scream at yes. KJ. She has the ability to raise her Speak voice when she herself. thinks it's important. So Daisy I feel like she didn't know it. how to lead it. Daisy was doing a good job. She yeah. was like, okay, I'll just fall in line. So when we finally see the videos, here's... Here's, here's the concept. First, first up, we see Fallen. And it's Chrissy Joe Letourneau, like, on a bed sobbing. She clearly, she's looking at a photo of Brett. She misses him. It's like, clearly they've broke up or whatever. Right. And Megan comes in and is like, what are you doing? Get out of bed. And again, it's like this ballad. And she, like, won't get out of bed. It's still sexy. They're both still in, like, yes. lingerie and kind of fighting each other, which people Megan love. Megan on the phone arguing with someone. I wasn't sure if that was, like, supposed to be Chrissy Joe Letourneau's ex or, like, what that was supposed to be. A and little unclear. There's, like, a doorbell ring and Chrissy Joe Letourneau runs down and like opens the door and is handed a rose and then she finally smiles. Right. And that's the end of their video. And then we have the go that far that's like darn it, darn it. Hey! So you think and like <laughs> hearing the rest of that song I was like that's not necessary. Dude it's insane. Why are there so many lyrics in this song? There is no reason for it just needs to be the first 30 seconds and then call it a day. It's perfect. Leave it be. So what it is like Jessica shows up all like nerdy. Oh god. This is painful. This was painful. It and was she's doing every her best. sexy girl trope. Yes. And she looks great. They all look great. Of course, always. But she shows up all nerdy and Destiny and Daisy like slut her up. Right. It's like that's supposed to be what it is. And then they're on a, like a, a pole and they're dancing and like now Jessica's hot. And it was like so Whoa, shitty. so deep. So basically what that means is smart girls or girls that don't have access to these highly expensive small clothes or look good in them, you're not good looking. No, and clearly. And you, also, God forbid you wear glasses. Oh God, my God forbid. Oh my God. Take your goddamn glasses off. And be an object for us, please. Take your ponytail. Uh, 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 a ponytail. Uh. Can we take that ponytail, split it in two, make you look like a baby? Yeah. And Come on, put please. You something smaller. Thank you. Yeah, but I would like p- you to look more like a child. Get on a pole. Blech. It was very, like, just very, you know. And again, they probably thought Brett was going to love it. They weren't wrong. And even Amber, so when they do the screening, they're all sitting in a room together. And Amber's watching. She's like, fuck. Yeah, she like, says that. I tried to make a story, and that's not his vibe. Right. I probably shouldn't have done that. And uh, everybody, everybody, especially me. Yeah. Shocked when Fallen wins. Nobody saw that coming. I've never seen Brett make a decision that wasn't based on his tuna can. I couldn't <laughs> couldn't believe it. His beluga whale got flat. Flaccid. His pregnant belly. Ugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you guys, his wig is fine, though. Everything's fine. His dick is probably going to be fine later. I'm sure he's erect. He's fine. He gets a solo date with Amber and they're going to have it that night. And she's stoked. She's like, I didn't think I was going to win. And I'm like so amazed I get to have this private time. But I will say Destiny 
is so fucking mad. And again, we have her speaking up. She is running around the house just screaming at Chrissy Joe Letourneau. Screaming at her like you're fucking worth it. And she doesn't even know the tea. Dude, she doesn't even she fucking know. She doesn't know. Uh, She's running around yelling, yeah, like you're worthless. You're a piece of shit. Just go home. Just go Chrissy. home. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants you here. All Daisy these, does it too. Daisy is like sobbing over her food and like yelling too. Like no one likes you, bitch. Go home. Go home. Sorry. Okay. Go home. I can't even do it. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> oh my your- God. Like, just go home or whatever. Why are you so good at Daisy, dude? I've been writing this. It's thing. fucking insane. So basically, Chrissy Joe's like, God, I didn't even really try that hard to win. Like, my bad. Like, it's like <laughs> she like, honestly is. Honestly, she just like runs away and goes upstairs. So um, that night, Ambrose Day, right? Yeah, and Brett does the notoriously cheap date thing where he's like, I'm going to take you someplace so special, a.k.a. my fucking bedroom. He has it all decked out like... Uh, like a Middle Eastern restaurant. Let's be honest. Right, There's yeah. no real authenticity to any community here. This is like very much like, uh, get these Turkish lamps and this Indian rug. Yeah. And they're just like all over the world, around yeah. the world in 30 breaths. And they bring in Satish. Satish is delightful. He is an Eastern master healer. I love him. He's wonderful. I would love to hang out with him and spend time with him. And it's just such a weird thing for Brett to bring well, in. Well, I would say, Dare I say, yes, this is dare. the I dare you. first time that something spiritual has actually happened. Because you guys, he threatens well, us every episode. And he's like, we have a spiritual connection because her tits looked great. Andy, and I'm he, starting to wonder if he knew what that meant. He does support our troops. And that's pretty spiritual. <laughs> So you sound like him. You've been watching too much Rock of Love. It, maybe it's getting it might in my be veins. Time to take a break. Pittsburgh. But yeah, he. But this is like the first like actually. So he does talk about spiritualness a lot. So I thought it was funny that something like actually spiritual, happened. actually spiritual. But so Satish's whole purpose is to align chakras. Yeah, like he's here to get their chakras aligned. He does say that Amber and Brett have known each other since the 12th century. Yeah, they've had multiple and he loves says, together. How old are you? And she's like 32 or 31 or something. Yeah, she says. 30 32 but okay. the joke is that they've known each other for hundreds right. and hundreds I'm of years I'm only pointing LOL, this LOL, out LOL. because I know that it's important later oh it's always important to him yeah yeah her age yeah 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 oh of course yeah he cares. she says 32 I bought it I didn't really I'm not worried about it um but they're they're doing great and then suddenly there's this knock at the door whoa this is bitch. so rude this we is, all knew we okay. all knew they were gonna have a date tonight she did get interrupted on her date but they used to pass Right, and it wasn't ombre. It was a different environment. Different people. Her and ombre have lost the friendship. It's true. And she's just like, I need to tell him, now's the time. Are you fucking kidding? So it's Christy Joe, dude. She's at the door. He opens it, and he's like, um. Not now. Not now. I'm on a date. Go up to your room. I'm going to send you something really special. Yeah. She's up there waiting, thinking, like, he's going to leave his date. She really straight she up She really does. He's going to leave his date and come up. Next thing you know, dude, Satish rounds the corner, and he's like, have you ever seen a sad tree? <laughs> And she's like, what? what? And he's like, have you seen a frustrated ocean? <laughs> uh, okay, I love these questions. I'm like, yeah. Oh, she's yeah. so turned she off. She is so confused. She doesn't understand anything. He's like, have you ever seen, I think he says a, a fright or a, a frightened mountain. Or, no, 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 he's silly. A silly mountain. A silly mountain. And I'm like, I think he's so charming. And, I, and yeah, he's, he's like, trying listen, to disarm Christy Joe, he's yeah. like, the world is celebrating. Like, you need to join us. And she thinks he's, like, the craziest, kookiest, like, no, I want I want dinner with Satish. I want dinner with Satish. And honestly, like, Brett ended his time. Yeah. I'm not trying to give this man praise. I know. But he's, like, trying to still, even though what she did was so inappropriate, he's yeah, yeah, still yeah. trying to give her a thing. I know. And, like, she was just disappointed that it wasn't Brett that came up. What like, take fuck? this moment to, like, learn something, you idiot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's so, like, rude and just, like, white about it. You know what I mean? Just so, like, oh, I don't understand anything. And this dude, like, is talking in a way that doesn't make sense to me. So, fuck it. Agreed. I'm not going to pay attention at all or try to learn anything because I know best. Yeah. Let me go fry up a hot dog all I want is Brett's attention yeah it's just very like uppity I don't know the way she reacts to him seemed very like but she, I'm not open to other cultures of course you know what I mean but she also like was trying to aggressively shove the information down Brett's yeah, throat yeah oh yeah and Brett was like let's talk about it later and she's like just let me tell you now I just need to tell you now and he's like let's talk about it later yeah, yeah yeah so he cuts his date with Amber short which is so fucked up super fucked up and he goes upstairs to Christy Joe and he's like, I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry to her. Yeah. She doesn't deserve God. an apology. But he says, what do you need to tell me? 
And she says, I just wanted you to know. Yeah. I called my husband and I told him things are off. And he's like, uh, yeah, I definitely thought this we were is there. This she worded it. She said, I told him and he said, does this mean we're getting a divorce? And I said, yeah. And he was like. And she's so proud. She's so She is like, proud. I've done such an amazing thing here. And he's like, wait, you're just telling me now. That this is the first time, time you've, you've talked about getting a divorce. And she's like, yeah, I told him that I was into you. And he asked if this means we're divorcing. And I said, yeah. She's so delusional and proud of herself. Like she's done the right thing. Oh, my God. He's like, OK, bye. Yeah, it shuts him down very quickly, which is the appropriate response. Yeah, dude. Finally. I, he's got a double date now, which is fucking crazy because it's with Chrissy Joe and Megan. It's like, why couldn't you have just waited a day? Till tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's also at the Shade Hotel. Yeah, I like which that I loved. Too. But basically, Megan starts sucking the food out of his teeth uh, uh, as soon as they get there. She, Megan knows she's missed many opportunities. Yeah. Down to the last six, she's got to make an impression. Right. Yeah. So and, she's trying. Oh, my God. Basically, Chrissy Joe walks away. She's like, I can't, I can't watch him. She is so dramatic. She leaves the room. She acts like he's cheating on her. She... Yeah. Pumps and stomps and like I can't believe it but he stops with fucking Megan yeah. and he goes and gets her and he's like oh I'm sorry there is this really gross moment though where Megan's straddling him and and she's like look at me like when I'm talking to you and he's like no I'm just looking at your tits and she's like ah okay and I was like this is so and he's literally licking his lips and staring <sighs> at her tits he's such a creep and it's so like he you know what I have a lot to say about the end of this episode okay but this part in particular, he he has no problem making out with her. When she tries to talk to him, the fuck was that? <laughs> Did you see that? Did you feel it? I the felt rumble? The thump. My goodness. Whenever he it, she tries to talk to him about anything, he's like, no, let's get back to making out and yeah. touching your tits. I don't want to talk to you. Doesn't want, he does not hear treat your opinions. her like a person. Dude. I don't want to know your thoughts. It's fucked up. Shut up and be cute. And then, he, like you said, he leaves. He stops with her. Yeah. Goes and gets Christy Joe. And it's awkward again. She's acting like a toddler. She's hitting him. She's being aggressive. She's, She's like, like, I hate you. I hate you. And he has actively said, there is no faster way to make me not like you than to be jealous. Yeah. Because my whole thing is, I'm going to fuck other girls, including <sighs> your friends and your mom. <sighs> so either get in or get out. He Dude. says it from the jump. It's awkward. It's hella awkward. But it's really why gross. does he make so much space for her? I, I don't know. He's obsessed. At She's home? just enough distance that yeah. it, like he can't he can't hold her and that intrigues him. I know. So at home, uh KJL, Christy Joe, she's like freaking out again. Um, her and Amber get into it. They're screaming at each other. It's really fucking uncomfortable. Amber's like, how dare you ruin my date? She gets extra Southern again. Yeah. yeah. You think it's like when she gets mad, the Southern comes out? I think she's actively restraining it. I think so, too. I think that's what it is. I think it's... I worked with the woman who did that. Yeah. I think it's her natural speaking voice, and yeah. she probably thinks that it impacts how people perceive her, yes. which it does. And so she's probably actively like holding it back. Maybe. But when she's fired up, yeah, yeah, yeah. she can't. comes out. Yeah. So it's elimination. Um, number one is ombre. I couldn't believe it. This is her second time getting number one. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, okay, girl, that's the Whatever. right choice, yeah. but good. Uh, two, Daisy. Daisy. What? He just likes her. He does. Three, Jessica. I was shocked by that one. She's and then still here. Four, Destiny. I was shocked by that, too. So that means Meg versus KJ. Dude, it's down to the bottom two. Wow, and wow, wow. What he does is he says, Chrissy Joe Letourneau, come on down. This is the first time you've seen any emotion other than malice out of Megan. She is actually shaking. She looks genuinely upset. Her brow is furrowed. She's like, what is going the on? The thing is, I refuse to believe Megan's upset about losing a chance with Brett. It has no, no, nothing no. to do with that. She's upset that KJ got called. Yes. No, no, no. This is 100% about her and KJ. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he says, listen, shit's crazy. You've been crazy. Yeah. But and you, you know I love that. Do you want to stay? And she says, no. No! She says, I got to go home. I got to take care of my shit at home. And I got to take care of my shit. And he, it like, because at first she's just like sobbing and crying and shaking. And he's like, look, if you got to go, just, just say, I have to go home and take care of it. my shit. And she says, and she's like shaking. And she says, I got to go home and take care of my shit. <gasps> I couldn't fucking believe it. He walks her out rodeo style. He kicks, he like says, guys, I got to take care of this. 
and walks her out and like cry hugs her. They're both sobbing. And when she she actually has to break away from him and run and he throws her past. He like, throws her past on the ground. And also, what are those things made out of? Why did it make so much noise Acrylic. when it hit the ground? Acrylic. Okay. It has to be. It should create fiberglass. Be. I don't know. It's something crazy. <laughs> it's but plexiglass. Whenever she go he goes back in, he's like all frustrated. Now, mind you. Megan's still standing there. Megan is still standing there. She did not get a pass. Dude. And he says, fuck off, good night. He does. I'm he going says, to bed. I'm sorry, I don't have your pass, Megan, because she left on her own volition. Like, you can stay, but I'm really fucked up about this, and I have to leave. And he Megan, was going to fucking keep her. Megan, he was going to oh, keep yeah. KJ. He didn't have Megan's pass there as a he backup. He did not have it. That Megan was going to go home that night, and she even says, like, even though I didn't get my pass, even though I didn't get my speech, yeah. she says... Um, I'm just happy to be here. And it's I feel a little bit sad for Megan in that moment. I feel bad for humans in that moment. Here's why I feel bad for her. Because she went on a date and she put an effort to get to know him. She, I mean, and she sucked his face. had to know on some level that he was getting rid of Megan that night. I think he knew for a fact he wasn't getting rid of Christy Joe. He knew about Christy Joe's business already going into that it's date. It's true. Yet he sat there, objectified her, right. made out with her. When yeah. she tried talking to him and said, look at me in my eyes, he said, no, I'm going to stare at your tits. He continued to take advantage of her, his, the situation yeah, with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then was her as gonna a piece of let me. her go. Yeah. Knowing that. Yeah, of course. I think that that is probably the nastiest thing he's done thus far. I, I think do. he does that constantly. This it's was just, so gross. He was on such a mission to tongue fuck her at yeah. dinner. Like, it was so obvious that he did. He Every time she tried to talk, he, like, completely he, shut it down. And he I just turns think, into a teenager when he's overwhelmed physically. When he has a boner, up. he can't fucking think. She is a person. Like, I don't like Megan. I think she's kind of an asshole. Dude, I'm totally with you. You know what I mean? She's but, the worst, but also he was really cruel. Yes, I agree. And I felt sorry for her in this moment um next week oh my god there's only five and kj's gone what does the house look like without kj it looks like a fucking nightmare yes, the yes, ex-boyfriends yes, yes, are yes. coming next oh week oh my god i'm so ready and also oh, i wish she was still here else is coming <gasps> heather <gasps> heather goddamn chadwell oh my god she gonna sell him a fancy house dude hold on to your butts oh my butts are being held so so tight. Next week has a lot of fucking drama for real. Like this one was a lot of KJL, but yes. like, and I'm so over her bullshit. I'm she has dominated all of the drama for the last twenty yes. episodes. Like, yes. bye, bitch. Bye. Next week there's a whole new set of drama. You're not seeing it coming, and it is fucking lit. I gotta say, after this, I was like, I want to watch the reunion. I know. I was like, I want to jump straight to the reunion, I but know. I'm not gonna do it. We're just gonna keep going because there's only five left. I know. Stay not five episodes. Five right. people. Five girls. Yeah. So stay tuned. Keep it real. Yeah, boy! If we put our boobs together, we can think better. Bitch, I will be ignorant all over your f***ing ass. I'm sorry, but I cannot keep my clothes on. Where's the garbage? Right oh. there. Pop culture, subculture, music, horror, sex, politics, art, and overall bad ass. This is Society 13, Redefining Podcasting. Redefining, redefining.